Hi everyone, this is Yonus. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how Systems Manager SSM can be used for creating new automation script and run those automation scripts in your EC2 instances. So what are the conditions to be satisfied? What are the pre-requirements for doing this? Let us see. In this video, I am going to show a simple hands-on exercise where we will run automation scripts in EC2 instances from SSM or Systems Manager. So these are the steps involved. I will go to the console and then show you how to do it. But before that, these are the steps involved. You have to write an automation script using your shell commands. I will show you and I will also share that program with you through video description. Then identify the target EC2 instances in SSM. Then you run the command and then the script will get executed in the identified target. Please note that the target machines should have the SSM agent running in them and the instances also should have a profile attached with them or role attached with them which has the required SSM access permissions. I will show you how to create that as well. So now let us go to the console and then launch an EC2 and we will ensure that that EC2 has the SSM agent running and it has the appropriate role attached. Okay, let's begin. So we are in EC2 dashboard, the console. Let me launch an Ubuntu instance. Click on launch instance. I will call it EC2 for automation. Come down, select Ubuntu and the latest version of Ubuntu AMI is fine. Come down and T2 Micro is fine. Key pair, if you already have a key pair, please choose that. Or if you don't have, please create using this link. Come down. In network settings, it can be default, VPC, default, subnet, etc. That's okay. But security group, you need to have both SSH and HTTP. So you can create a new one if you don't have. And if you have, you can select that existing one as well. Come down. All these can be default. In advanced details, we need to do two things. One is we need to provide an instance profile or a role which has access to SSM or which has permissions to access SSM. So I'm going to create a new IAM profile. Okay, click on create role. AWS service is fine because it is for EC2, which is an AWS service. Come down, select EC2. Now, if you come down, you can see that EC2 role for AWS Systems Manager because it is so common. AWS has already given this option. You can directly select it. Next, this is fine. Next, you have to give a role name. I will give it as EC2 SSM 101. Okay, I will give it as role 101. Come down, create the role. The role is created. Go back, refresh this and you can just type 101. So you will get EC2 SSM role 101. Select that. Come down. Now I need to install SSM agent in this EC2. For that what I will do is the corresponding commands. I will include it in the user data script. If you come down, this is where you can include your user data script. So let me copy paste this for now but I will provide this script to you as part of the video description. So no need to worry. Come down, launch the instance. So the instance is getting launched. We don't need to wait here. It will take a couple of minutes. That is okay. What we can do in that time is go to systems manager and prepare your automation script. So we are here in systems manager. Go to documents on the left side. And now we need to create a new document. So create document and click on command or session. So it is asking for a name for your automation document. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a web server. So web server 101, any name you can give. Target type, document type, all these are fine. Come down. I have created my 
script using yaml so let me choose yaml and this is something which is already existing i need to remove this entire stuff and copy my code and again i'll give you this code as part of video description copy and paste okay and if you want to change so here i'm saying welcome to unisys page you can change it you can change it to your name etc anything or background color you want to change font size font color you want to change you can make those changes anyway it is a very simple page that's it if you want you can give three dots at the end but that is not mandatory so you can see that i'm just updating my apt repository and then installing apache 2 and then i'm starting that service and then creating an index.html with a simple line and i'm moving that to the document root of apache 2 web server that's all this is ready just create the document okay now how do i see that document go to owned by me so you can see that there are two of them and this is what i just created this i had created earlier so just click on this so this is the document if you want to see the content you can go here right and uh, if you have multiple versions it will show up here anyway only one version is there and now if you want to run the command it will ask you which is the ec2 on which you want to run it so click on run command this is your command and uh, it is asking how will you select the target based on some tags or whether you will do it manually i or based on a resource group i'm going to do it manually now to keep it simple and then there is only one instance which is running you can see that ec2 for automation i'm selecting it okay comment if you want to write anything you can write that timeout i'll leave most of these as default values whether you want to write the command output to an amazon s3 bucket i don't want to do that for now but i will enable cloudwatch logs so it is asking for the cloudwatch log group do you want to give any name just to keep it unique i'll just give my name also yunus ssm logs you can give any name there some meaningful names come down and click on run so what should happen is it should install apache 2 web server on my ec2 and it should create that index.html file as well so that i'll be able to view the corresponding web page on my browser but before we run this automation script you can log into your instance and check if already uh, the web server is running in that or not select this go to connect from here you can click on ssh client and copy the connection string and you can go to a terminal and uh, paste yes and please ensure that you are issuing this command from your downloads folder because that is where your key pair will be present okay so here just check if you have the document root created for example ls slash or slash www slash html it is not even created let us see if apache 2 is running sudo service apache 2 status it is not there the service cannot be found okay now let us come back and run your command run and here it will say it is in progress so let us wait till it says it is success or fail if it is fail we have to see why it failed but hopefully it will be successful if it is successful i should be able to access the web page so let me go to ec2 and go back to my instance and uh, see if i can access this web page open address instead of https you should use http yeah now you can see that it is already ready that is why let me just go back to systems manager refresh you can see that the script has run successfully now if i go back to the terminal and run the same command again you can see that it is running and uh, also just check ls you can see that index.html is already present so this is how you actually execute a very simple automation command in your ec2 which is managed by ssm 
and you write the automation script in SSM and you will execute it from SSM itself. So this is a very simple scenario. You are doing it for just for one EC2, but if you have to do it for hundreds of EC2s and you have a very complex script, it is not easy to log into each of those EC2s and then run that script, right? You need to automate it. And this is the way to automate it using systems manager. Okay, that's it about this small exercise. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with more useful videos soon. Please like and share this video with others who you think will find it useful. And please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Bye.